out in the greenhouse here with Stanley. He's really enjoying the sun and watching the birds come for the crab apples. And I thought I would share some proof, or not proof of concept, but some concepts that I'd like to explore and get some feedback from folks on this day. Just some quick information. Right now we've got uh, air temperature outside of 20 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun is shining, the air is still. So quite, or nice and cold, but a beautiful day to be out in the winter here. And inside this space, the sensor that I have set up, which I'm now intentionally putting in the shade, so it's not being affected by direct sunlight. That reads 53 Fahrenheit as of right now. So a 33 degree delta. Is that the term? I don't know. Stan wasn't impressed. Um, yeah, 33 degrees warmer in here on a cold winter day. The stillness of the air and the strong sun is really helping with that. I think if the snow were to melt off the roof, we'd be way, way warmer in here. Uh, some other things that are going on that are pretty compelling. This rough idea of a solar hot air collector, um, pretty much literally made of trash, of scrap metal and old silage bags, very roughly put together, sitting there with no fan on it drawing whatsoever, uh, is reading 100, uh, 122, is that the high number? 123, which is just kind of stupefying how much heat, that's a six inch aperture, and so let's say 100 degrees, I, it just feels like screaming, piping hot coming out of there. And so that as a basic idea, I think is really compelling that where in this space is the intersection of enough solar incoming rays, uh, but also not, you know, this is not the ideal place to store it, as I mentioned in the last video, but it's right now it's just easy. Uh, but is it going to be to the north of the bed here? Is it ultimately something that maybe makes sense actually associated with the wall, like a trom wall? Maybe it's going into the home and coming back out or something along that line. I'm still trying to figure out that idea, but the fact that over 120 Fahrenheit is passively bleeding out of that top hole there is pretty stunning. And I had this... Uh, 120 millimeter fan associated with it, and it was sucking that hot air down through the soil and out through the other side. And that feels exciting as a concept, solar hot air collector paired with a climate battery. But what I thought would be nice is to actually decouple from active fan movement altogether. And so uh, the other day I saw um, a dump pile behind a research facility. I guess they had replaced some crazy expensive research gear, I don't know, like high electricity stuff. So there's a mountain of these tubes that were getting thrown out. They're actually next to these pallets that I salvaged and I'm using to rebuild the perches and roosts and nesting boxes for our chickens. So I grabbed a few of these tubes thinking, oh, I'm gonna make uh, beautiful wind chimes out of them. And then I remembered a comment that a uh, fellow had made and something I'd already been thinking of. What if these nice metal tubes get slipped down into these climate battery uh, tubes that are in the soil, paired to them, and then painted black on the south side and insulated on the north side. And as the sun goes through the sky, and starts to strike that black surface, heat the metal, and create a stack effect, an actual chimney effect, if these are paired to the ground tubes effectively enough, so what I'd need to do is really kind of like seal them up or figure out how that all looks, maybe even cob them, then I could have three black solar-driven chimneys on this east side that would use stack effect and passive draw to pull air from the west side, which is near this compost pile, and have a solar hot air collector over here, accumulating air, bleeding out that warmth to this side of the, high, of the greenhouse, and then having that drawn down through the soil 
charging the soil and back out. And this way it would also move a tremendous amount of air through the whole space. Stanley, what do you think? He hasn't listened to a thing I said. All you ever think about is birds. Anyway, it's an idea. I'm going to be trialing it. I think I want to do it in a non-committal way where I... Um, Maybe I even just use black tape for now in case I don't like the idea of it and I want to end up using these for wind chimes in the future. But the idea of three solar-driven chimneys that turn on on a gradient based on the drive that the sun provides them, insulated on the north side to hold that heat in and really amplify that stack effect, and maybe some sort of deflector up here, or maybe this would be one position where a solar panel outside with a fan sends that air and stirs it through the space. But right now we are 33, probably 35 degrees warmer than outside with no active driving uh, elements, solar powered or otherwise, in our passive solar greenhouse. Those are some concepts for now. Let me know what you think about uh, solar chimneys and stack effects. Maybe folks have some direct experience with that. Does this seem reasonable? Um, what would you be doing in here? So on a cold day like this, it's kind of fun to play. Next video will be about the uh, roosts and perch upgrades for the chickens, and then we'll do nesting boxes in the next few days. So we'll try to take advantage of this cold spell to really make some nice things happen for them. Thanks for watching.